So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. Now here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors Chibayev. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Lands with the right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking oh. Transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. 
Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of trick. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the... Oh, he finally got him with a choke. Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the crowd. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right hand. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got another box. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Over and over, he's landing on a big bike. Straight right hand now, just misses. Got the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Second round underway. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, single collar tie now. That is a hard left hand that lands. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. Nice hammer fist. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. He did a great job. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the mid -side. Level change. Oh, he went single. Rotate hit outside. This dude's going for a oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or did no, I read my not, last round? Absolutely rest? not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, Post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Oh, right in the mouth. 
All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Fight zone! He's done, he's done! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Well, he's gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, this is the man they are all chasing at 170 pounds, the UFC welterweight champion of the world, and getting it done with style points here tonight. Big victory by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano's call to stop this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and...